mathematics today is question is basically a merge of differentiation and integration. This is paper three, by the way, A levels. So the first part, there are multiple parts of this question. So we're going to see one by one. I'm going to display the entire question first. Stop the video, go through the question first because it's a uh, complicated question. So let's start. The first question, first part of the question says that if you derivate 1 over cos x, you have to show that secant x would be differentiated to secant x tan x. So first of all, uh, you have to identify that basically this is secant x. So we know that this is secant x. So if we are differentiating 1 over cos x, that is differentiating equivalent to differentiating secant x. So I'm going to say uh, 1 over y is equal to 1 over cos x. And I will bring this into the numerator, cos x to the power minus 1. You can also apply the quotient rule, by the way. There is no harm in that. That's all right. But it will take a little bit longer. So I'm going to prefer to use uh, to differentiate as a power rule. So dy by dx will be equal to negative 1. Let's subtract 1 from the power, minus 2. And differentiation of cos x would be negative sin x times 1. And this is my full differentiation for this region. Now, once I've done this, let's uh, simplify a little bit. So dy by dx will be equal to, uh, these negatives will cancel out with each other. So it would be sin x over cos square x, which I will finally simplify to sin x over cos x and cos x. Now we can visualize this, that this sine over cos will become tan, and that one over cos will become secant. So dy by dx can be shown as secant x, and sine over cos would have become tan x. So this is the first section. Now the first part also requires us to differentiate this expression, and we want to show it that this is equal to secant x. So let's start differentiating this. So dy by dx will be equal to 1 over box uh, for logarithm, that is secant x plus tan x, multiplied by differentiation of the box. So secant x would have a differentiation of secant x tan x, plus our tan x will have a differentiation of secant squared x. Now, let's take common over here in the numerator. So this will be secant x can be taken common. And I will have tan x plus secant x. And in denominator, you will have secant x plus tan x. And we can see that this is getting simplified very easily. These two terms would go away. And we can show that dy by dx is equal to secant x. Now, this was the first part of the question. Now, let's move on to the second part now. All right, so for the next part, we have integration by substitution. Now, let's start with this section. Uh, first of all, we're going to differentiate the substitution. And that is our first step for any integration by substitution. So dx by d theta would be equal to under root 3 secant square theta. So from here, we are going to make dx the subject under root 3 secant square theta d theta. So this is our subject over here. Now, for the next step, what we are going to do is we are going to Substitute these values over here. So this would be 1 over under root of 3 plus under root 3 tan theta, a secant square theta. No, under root 3 tan theta, whole square. And for dx, we're going to write under root 3 secant square theta d theta. All right, now let's multiply. And for denominator, we're going to have integration of under root 3 secant square theta d theta upon under root of 3 plus 3 tan squared theta. 
Now let's uh, take uh, three common over here. So under root three secant square theta upon in the square root, let's take three common. This will become one plus tan square. And for those of you who are really good at memorizing the identities, you guys can clearly see what is happening. So we know one plus tan square will go to secant square soon. So let's simplify this a little bit further. This will become integration of under root three secant square theta d theta upon under root of, let's take three common, uh, so three is already common. This is secant square theta. Now let's take this square root and this will help us to simplify a lot of things. So this would be under root three secant square theta over under root three secant theta d theta. What I've done is I've uh, expanded this square root for under root three as well and for squ uh, uh, secant square theta would become secant theta. Now let's start some cancellation. Under root three will go away. And for one secant theta, one secant theta would go away. And the final integral that I'm left with is integration of secant theta d theta. Now, many students reach up to this point and then they get stuck because they have no clue what to do with integration of secant theta. That is because you guys are not supposed to know the integration of secant theta directly. What you are supposed to do is you are supposed to connect this part, the previous part. So if you recall the previous part, we have seen that secant theta was differentiation of another function and that function of log of secant theta plus tan theta. So now we know, so in the previous part, we learned that if y was log of secant theta plus tan theta, this was part A we learned that d by dx would be secant theta. So this was the first part. Now, if I have to, this was the differentiation from here till here. Now, if I want to integrate secant theta, I would go back and this would become log of secant theta plus tan theta. So for this part, now I know my integration is going to be log of secant theta plus tan theta. And now this is going to be an easy question. You're going to apply the values of x uh, over uh, here and uh, convert these values to theta and apply those limits over here. So the difficult part is just uh, that you have to find the limits, uh, sorry, the integration and you have to connect it with the first part. So this is the second part of this question and after this it's going to be a really easy question you just have to apply the limits so i hope you uh, understood the concept of how you had to link the first part with the second part and this is how you had to integrate ln of secant theta i hope you have liked this video if you have any queries any questions regarding the solution do leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video goodbye